Hello everyone, I'm Nathan and welcome to Project Discovery presented by Collective Shift. This is our weekly recap of the best crypto and NFT projects that, we f that our research team found last week. We do this video five days a week for our pro members on the Collective Shift platform, so head over to collectiveshift.io for more info. All of the links for the projects that we're talking about today will be in the description below. We have no time to lose, let's get into it. First up this week is Noundles. Now, Noundles we've known about. It's a crossover um, collection between Nouns and Doodles. And the thing is, they, re they released Noundles Theory this week, their play-to-earn on-chain game similar to, that is similar to Wolf Game. We can come over to their website, and if we go over to their Noundles Theory page, um, last week they released Noundles Companions. Not only did they release Noundles Companions, they also released Evil Noundles as well which look like they face the other way. Yes, our good old Noundles face right, or evil Noundles face left. In total, I believe there's going to be a 40,000 uh, collect piece NFT collection here, and all of these different NFTs are earning different amounts of rainbow tokens. If we were to go over to the dashboard, it should tell us if we connect our wallet. Yes, it costs us 80 rainbows at the moment to mint an additional Noundles companion. If we go back, oh, there it is. There it is. We've um, minted 16,000 of the 40,000 total collection. We've got a few different statistics down here as well. Looks like we've got 6,600 companions, 7,400 Genesis, and only 2,200 evil Noundles at the moment. If we wanted to come back and take a look at the game theory and actually what's going on, they do have a little infograph here. And I know it's a little hard to see. Let's run through it really, really quickly. We have Noundles earning four rainbows a day. Companions earning two rainbows a day, and then we have the evil Noundles who don't earn any rainbows per day or don't accrue any. But what they do do is steal 20% of the accrued Noundal or of the accrued rainbows that the Noundles, Genesis, and the Companions earn. So similar to being wolves in Wolfgang, they're stealing the ERC20 token um, as the other ERC721s are earning them. So there's they can also steal newly minted NFTs, which is something similar to Wolfgang. Probably the one new aspect that we're looking at compared to Wolfgang is this jail right here. Evil Noundles can get caught stealing newly minted and will be sent to jail. Right now, that jail period is only three hours, which is extremely short to me. You know, kick them out for a week if they get caught. But I think that might be able to be voted on and changed in the future. So they also have a most wanted list. And then pretty much everything else is the same. It's one of those play-to-earn games that once we mint all 40,000 that are in the collection, um, we need to come up with new utility for the rainbow token. And then it's up to the Noundles team, as well as the community and holders of Noundles, Companions, Genesis, and Evil, to make a utility with the rainbows token. So it's very easy to create tokens. It's all about destroying tokens. We can burn them, we can destroy them, uh, we can use them, we can trade them, we can turn them into something else. But at the end of the day, we need to come up with some utility for them, and typically it's, typically it's destroying. Moving on, second up today is Gringotts DAO. We have an NFT financialization collective. There's no website here. If this website doesn't really take you anywhere, they're only following two people. Crypto Voxels and NFT Fi, who they're using. And they're going to help rare NFT holders unlock liquidity. You know, we have rare NFTs that are worth hundreds of thousands of dollars and they're not earning yield. So if those whales held those NFTs in, say, a vault or a bank, they'd be earning a small amount of yield there. So a lot of people are finding or fighting for an NFT financialization, which is what Gringotts DAO wants to do. So they say fractionalization doesn't fix the problem of high opportunity costs that we just discussed. So they're creating a decentralized organization focused on becoming the number one stop for high value NFT holders to access liquidity by offering personal interactions and a point of contact for each loan. So this is what's interesting, by, prof by offering personal interactions and then a point of contact. So that looks like they're giving us almost like risk mitigation services here for like a trusted community that I can go and leverage my NFT so that I know I won't get rugged. The goblins are the members of the DAO that safeguard the vaults. They're opening the doors, season zero. They're going to create a DAO. They're going to secure 10 million, launch a token, establish 20 million in volume, establish 100 million in volume, and then I think they'll be pretty happy with themselves. 
So entrance into Gringotts DAO is permissioned. They'll be opening the doors to a select few. Go and check out their Discord channel. They've even got th five different prompts that you can answer to uh, try and get in. So answer one of those questions, head over to Green Gots DAO, give your answer in there, hopefully you get in. And if you're a rare NFT holder, we'll be able to unlock our liquidity using NFT Fi, using Green, Green Gots DAO. Next up today is the crypto Twitter leaderboard. Do we have a Twitter? Oh, we do. Here it is. So it's ETH leaderboard or at ETH leaderboard on Twitter. Updates with on updates on the top 100 most followed accounts with an ENS domain domain name, and not affiliated with ENS. So they just joined in December 2021. We're all over it. Yes. And here is the leaderboard. Crypto Twitter leaderboard. Drake Bell, the actor. What a sneaky secret little Twitter lover. I'd love to see his NFT collection and praise it. Um, also, Dylan Francis, who we got, Vitalik, we got Hayden Adams, Whale Trades, we got some of the Bankless Boys, Stanny, Chainlink God, so pretty good little list here of ENS names if you're looking for a few more Twitter follows that are crypto natives. Drake Bell, that sneaky, sneaky actor. Moving on to Croaks, here's a derivative collection from Cryptodes, and Cryptodes is the on-chain PFP collection of little toads. And here we have Croaks. Croaks are 3D versions of the Cryptodes. Oh no, the website's not working. They had a really clean website too. I hope this wasn't a rug. There it is. Good, good. Here is the website. Um, then they look really good. They look like really, really clean 3D avatars. The Cryptodes ecosystem right now really doesn't have a purpose besides vibing. Literally, they just want to vibe. Um, and it's really just a feel-good community. Um, and so far, it's really, really successful. They seem to have gotten well-respected people within crypto to buy them, own them, and love them, and shield them. So it seems like a very, very positive community from what I'm seeing. We're seeing derivative collections of them. Um, and this looks like a really, really clean one. So we've got 6,900 3D cryptodes coming soon. Moving on, moving on to finance. Here's Zensha Finance. This is the first stable swap exchange and liquidity pool on the Boba network. So we've covered the Boba network before, ETH, Ethereum 2.0, um, scaling solution and network. Let's go over and check out Zensha Finance. Who are they, who are they following? Layer 2 beat, Boba, Boba network info, cool. Ooh, and maybe 0x zero, zero Chad. That might be our dev right there. Here is Zensha Finance. You can see it's a pretty clean little DEX. We've got stable coins to trade, DAI, USDC, and USDT. We could connect our wallet with the Boba mainnet. Pools right now, how much? We only have like $5,000 on the Boba network at the moment, so really, really low TVL at the moment. And if we went to farming, I, rewards are coming soon. So rewards will happen. I assume they'll do some sort of liquidity mining program. Um, and there's barely any TVL on there at the moment. So early days, risky. Um, so check out the Discord. Make sure you, you like what you're doing because you'd be an early, early contributor if you were to put your money there. Moving on to Dao Tai Fung. Found this one before they made their first purchase, and I was really hoping they would um, rally around the name Dao Tai Fung because that's a spin on the name Din Tai Fung, which is a fantastic restaurant if you haven't been. And they're, they're coming up with the DTF token. Now, what did they do? Dao Tai Fung is proud to announce the acquisition of CryptoPunk 5878 into the treasury. Stay tuned for more info about their plans. So they've got a CryptoPunk, they've, they've got a DTF token. Most likely there'll be an NFT fractionalization for, fund, um, but who knows? We'll see what they do. But love the name, super, um, like a lot of meme ability there with, with Dao Tai Fung. And they've locked up a CryptoPunk, which is, which is really great. And a quick hiatus, how good has the debates been about CryptoPunks versus Bored Apes and the flipping between the two? It's all come because of, I think, Punk 4158. But one famous punk um, sold a few of his, quite a few, changed his profile picture to a Cryptodes, called the punks out for not being CCO, um, not releasing under CCO, um, and being open source and letting owners um, own full IP or intellectual property of their CryptoPunks and earn 
royalties above 100 grand, which seems to be the cap on some of these licensing agreements. Um, and yes, that was a lot of the drama this week was talking about CryptoPunks versus other NFT collections. How valuable is it to be open source and have the community own the rights to the NFTs? Um, and will the Board Ape Yacht Club set flip CryptoPunks? But I digress. That was all the drama from the weekend. It was it was quality to follow. It was quality to follow along. Moving on to Alta. Alta, we have a home for interactive NFTs. They're based out of England. They got a really, really clean, clean website. As you can see, this first NFT that I'm looking at, my mouse is moving, and then the picture behind it, I think this is an NFT, it is, um, is reacting to my mouse movements. So as you can see, this is our first interactive NFT. Now let's scroll down. I had a look at this one. This one was pretty cool. Let's go with one I haven't seen. I haven't seen this guy before. And all of these different NFTs have... Um, instructions for us on the right hand side we can connect our MetaMask so on this one I need to scroll out and I believe the the scenery should change if I can actually do this um, there we go as I scroll out so another interactive NFT and we've got one more that we'll check out because why not we've got an interactive robot he's pretty cool he's he's very cool So, interactive NFT is just showing us some of the possibilities of the future, uh, way beyond profile pictures and CryptoPunks, into, you know, interactive experiences that are non-fungible tokens. So that's looking at Ulta, interactive NFTs. Moving on to Glossetta. Glossetta is an open source glossary meant to help people learn and explore terminology behind Web3. So it's our go-to companion for anybody watching this, you probably don't need it because you're probably all over it and one of the smartest people among your friends around Web3 and crypto, but it is a pretty good glossary, I think. Do they have like a master glossary? Yeah, they do. Here it is. So, you know, they got like 40, 50 terms here. Um, hopefully they keep building this out. Yeah, good. They just joined in October. They have tweeted recently. Excellent. Moving on to Scientist Dow. Web3 social media is coming. Logging in with our MetaMask to social media besides Discord, besides Facebook, or excuse me, Meta, all those Web2 platforms, it's coming. Here's another example. This one's more of a forum type, and I think it's more coder related, and it's definitely Asian based. Here is the website. We're going to switch from simple Chinese over to English, or excuse me, simplified Chinese. Um, and here we go, we've got like a Reddit forum type Web3 platform that you can connect your wallet to. Um, you've got a profile, and it's all pretty much related to, to coding and applications and, and, and software development. So if I were to go into, say, applications, we could talk about, look at all the different um, threads that people have made um, around Web3. So, pretty cool little DAO and early stage forum platform that I believe is also Web3 enabled. Yes, yes it is. Yeah, I just saw it there. I joined five days ago. Need to update that profile picture. And that's Scientist now. Moving on to Gunner Bros. Gunner Bros are 9900 unique bros geared up for a fight. We've got gamified little NFTs and we've also got a beta game as well. So here are the Gunner Bros. There they are. There's two examples. Little pixelated guys with guns. What's really cool is they've got a public team. Where's that public team? There they are. We've got a public team of about eight people, led by Matthew Graff. And here's the game. They've even got a demo for us. So, not bad. Like, not bad at all. Obviously pretty basic, but um, not bad. So it's nice to see a NFT game that actually has a working beta rather than just some promises and a roadmap. Um, and it's nice to see a public team as well. So that's Gunner Bros. I think it'd be really, really cool to own our NFTs from our pixelated games. I know I was, I grew up with Nintendo back in the day, and if you could recreate a lot of those games and then I'd be the owner of the little characters, well, 
it creates a whole other spin, and I would probably replay those games. So here's Gunner Bros, and I think they minted last week. Hmm, when did they mint? Unsure, but I do think if you beat the game, you get on the whitelist, which is cool too. Moving on to Speakeasy Dow, Web3 native podcasting platform. They've just got a Notion page as their website. We can have a look at a few things. They've got a public team, they've got a roadmap, they've got visions. There's the public team, led by Gleb. Here's Speakeasy Dow information. They want to empower audio creators, manage the treasury, vote on product features and roadmaps. They're going to have a SPKZ token, rewarding for high quality audio content. Community members are going to use the SPKZ token to support their favorite creators. The DAO is going to support creators, and the DAO members decide new features. So pretty cool. It does seem um, if, if they can build a good product, um, it's time for maybe a potential change with um, podcasting and hopefully making it Web3 native um, and bringing in cryptocurrencies into the incentivization model. So microphone. I love how everyone's taken Olympus DAO and now they're just doing everything 3.3. It's microphone, microphone for Speakeasy DAO. Looks like they'll be mobile based too. They just joined Twitter in November. We also have Diamond DAO here, an ecosystem of protocols designed to collect the most valuable assets in DeFi. They, I think they're followed by quite a few people um, that are well known. Stealth launches live. Excuse me, let me zoom out. There we go. They stealth launched on November 30th. They were selling emoji keys, which are your key, which are your keys to unlock the Diamond DAO. Let's have a look at the website real quick. The DAO will create an ecosystem of protocols collecting the most valuable assets on DeFi. We can buy on OpenSea. Let's go see the price of a key. They're collecting diamonds. How are they going to be collected? Oh yeah, Diamond DAO's first protocol is going to be an OHM fork, which they're using as a bootstrapping mechanism. Cool, there's going to be 10,000 of these emoji keys. Oh wow, they're really not going for a lot. They're only going for about 0.01. ETH. So I think it's an anonymous team, unfortunately. Really, really clean little website, uh, custom website for Diamond Dow. We'll give them that. And then do they say anything about the team? Not that I saw. But we've had about 212 ETH traded, so only about a million dollars in volume so far for Diamond Dow and their emoji keys. We have two intern uh, organizations this week. One is Intern Dow at Crypto Intern Dow on Twitter. They joined in November. They're stealth. We've also got Intern Dow, which joined in June 21, but recently on November 29th, they said good morning interns. I think they also said thank you to. Crypto Voxels recently, so it looks like Intern Dow is getting a coffee shop in Crypto Voxels, and they're going live. So, do you want to be an intern? You can send them over a document. Very, very cool, and they're looking for interns. Awesome. Last week, Satoshi, or excuse me, Sartoshi, the uh, NFT collector, released his own NFT. He released their own NFT collection of MFers. They're just little guys that look like they're sitting at a computer, just like Sartoshi's um, just like Sartoshi's um, avatar. So we could have—they uh, actually were pretty popular. There's the MFers, all just hanging out at a computer. They sold for 0 0.069 each ETH each. How many are there? There's 10,000 of those uh, MFers. Here's Deegan Dow. Deegan Dow's top Deegans and Apes from Deegan Score Citadel. If you have a Web3 wallet and you've been around a while and you haven't played with Deegan Score, um, go and do that. Very, very cool little Web3 wallet analyzer. So some top Deegans and Apes from there have formed to, have joined together to create Deegan Dow. 
we could join if we wanted to. I think we may have to submit an application. Ah, that's right. They're still on Telegram. But essentially, they're investing in the meme economy. We believe decentralized crypto projects are essentially memes. Memes can be powerful and useful. So they're investing in the meme economy. And that's Digendao. Moving on to Center. Center is organizing the world's NFT, and I believe they're doing a search engine for us. Now, this isn't just any kind of normal search engine, I don't think. We could go for, like, rare cool cat. Oh, nope, that was actually a different website. Well, let's just go for cool cats in general. Cool cats, it shows us a pretty, pretty good little search engine for NFT collections that are out there. And that's Senna, organizing the world's NFTs. And we have Highlight. Highlight is helping creators build vibrant communities. We can go over to highlight.xyz. Now, we'd have to request access. I don't think they're open quite yet. Members-only clubs, or they help us build member-only clubs to engage, connect, and reward our most loyal supporters. They're going to help us design custom branded communities. They'll be buying NFTs for the, to get into those communities. So it looks like they're helping us start decentralized communities and decentralized DAOs. And we have ETH TPS, or transactions per second. This is the place to get TPS info about all Ethereum rollups, layer twos, and side chains. And we have a nice little leaderboard here of all the different blockchains and their current TPS and their max recorded TPS um, that they've ever done, which looks like Polygon's leading the way there, with also the type of blockchain, which I think is going to become more relevant um, in the coming years. How many more do we have? Okay, we've got three more. Three more. Uh, we got next one up is Thingdoms. This is 10,000 NFTs. They've got a bit of a doodles kind of creatures feel, and they've already got 18,000 followers on Twitter. So we've seen them um, propagated and talked about within a lot of discords. So we think it's going to be a pretty popular drop. Um, November 26th, they were dropping some alpha. So don't know too much about them yet. Looks like they're Zeneca33. Um, Looks like he's partnering with them. So they're coming soon, Thingdoms. Next up is ETH RPG. This one is really cool. We've got a 2D pixelated metaverse. You could start an account. The website's a little slow to, slow to load, but you create an account, you connect your wallet, and you come back and you sign in. And then your little character can actually walk around, which is very cool. Here it is. Where's some gameplay? I wasn't logged in, or I should have shown you shown shown myself walking around. I have walked around. It is pretty cool. It's a very Zelda-like experience with ETH RPG, a free-to-play cross-chain game. And last one is a world of a wolf game fork called Game of Deegans. Um, I think we're still pre-launched. They're talking about gains tokens, and I think they're trying to build a pretty big little community. It looks like we're going to mint Deegans and zombies as well as land and spaceships, so a five-token ecosystem. And we can join their Discord. And that's it for today. Thank you, everyone, that got this far. Really appreciate it. Um, all the links should be in the description below. Uh, we do these videos five days a week for our Collective Shift Pro members. So head over to collectiveshift.io to find out more information. Um, and also we have a Discord as well. So or we will have a Discord soon. So we will see you in there as well. Um, thank you. Thank you again for being here. Really appreciate it. We'll be back next week. Bye for now.